high temperature, dry cough, loss of taste or smell are the key words that we might often see on our social media nowadays. Indeed, these keywords are the symptoms of COVID-19. However, while sites are putting on this COVID-19 pandemic, dengue cases in this country have silently rose. According to the news reported by New Straits Times, there was 50,511 cases and active death cases was registered between January to June in 2020. This number is nearly the populations of St. Keys and Nevis. Dengue infected patients may suffer from fever, muscle pain, bone pain, which are similar to the symptoms of normal illness. This may sometimes cause confusion to us, whether it's dengue infections or just uh, normal virus infections. On the other hand, as we all know, there are yet specific vaccines for dengue virus. The survival rate of the patient mostly depends on the early detections followed by the proper clinical management. Although there are a number of conventional techniques for dengue diagnosis, those techniques are typically labor intensive, expensive and time consuming which require at least four days to detect the presence of dengue virus successfully. Due to the prolong of this detection, this can lead to more severe infection, which we call it as dengue hemorrhagic fever. This dengue hemorrhagic fever can cause bleeding of nose and gum, blood urines and vomiting, bleeding under skins that breathing, and even death may occur. In recent time, there have been researchers on using the optical biosensor for detections of dengue virus due to its high sensitivity, low cost, and fabrication simplicity. So, I dedicate my final year projects to work on the integrations of Kairosan nanomaterials on the fiber tip sensor to improve the sensitivity of the sensor. This fiber tip sensor is actually consists of three main parts, which are the light, antibody, and the optical fiber tip. The working principle of the fiber tip sensor is actually quite simple. Imagine this fiber tip sensor as a mouse catch trap with the immobilized antibody as the bait. The fiber tip is then immersed with the blood of the patient. Next, the light is allowed to pass through the fiber tips and bingo, the virus has been detected. Alright, now let me explain on the integrations of chitosan nanomaterials on the fiber tip sensor. As what I mentioned just now, imagine the fiber tip as a mousetrap and antibody as the bed. So now, just imagine the chitosan as the strong glue that pull around the mouse catch strap. Now let me ask a question. Will now more rats are being trapped? Of course, yes. More rats will be trapped due to the glue. Same concept. When the upgrade of fiber tips is immersed with the blood of the patient, more virus can be caught. Therefore, the sensitivity of the sensors is greatly improved with the integrations of nanomaterials. In short, this nanomaterial integrated biosensor has opened up a path towards the better diagnostics approach. This is because suitable nanomaterial may add in the improvements of this biosensor in terms of its sensitivity. Secondly, the preparation step for this biosensor is simple and cheap. And finally, this sensor only requires 50 minutes to detect the presence of dengue virus instead of 4 days. So, with this technology, survival rate of patients can be greatly enhanced. Thank you.